The world is racing to develop a vaccine for the coronavirus. The World Health Organization says that an effective vaccine will take between 12 to 18 months to develop and become readily available. But to which countries and who will be prioritized? The vaccine race is currently led by three frontrunners. The first clinical trials of a vaccine were conducted at the Kaiser Permanente Health Research Institute in Washington State a week ago. Moderna Therapeutics pushed out clinical trials of the mRNA 1273 vaccine after only 42 days of development, before publishing the results of tests on lab mice. The White House Office of Science and Technology Policy established the COVID-19 High Performance Computing Consortium in partnership with several companies. Combined, they will ease worldwide access to 16 of the most powerful supercomputers for researchers to submit and analyze their COVID-19 projects and expedite the discovery of drugs, vaccines, and parts to fastest impact. The German company CureVac leads the fight against the coronavirus in Europe. The European Commission has pledged up to 80 million euros or around $85 million to the company that is also being supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and German billionaire Dietmar Hopp. They expect to complete the first phase of safety studies in June, with clinical trials scheduled for later in the summer. CureVac was recently thrust into the spotlight when rumors spread that their former CEO met US President Trump to secure a billion dollar deal to develop a vaccine exclusively for Americans. After weathering backlash, CureVac released a statement confirming that they are focused on the development of a coronavirus vaccine with the goal to reach, help and to protect people and patients worldwide. Although the Chinese government came under fire over claims of trying to cover up the coronavirus outbreak when it first appeared, they have since instituted citywide quarantines, mass sanitization projects, and constructed specialized hospitals that have seen coronavirus cases dwindle across the nation. Hong Kong listed CanSino Biologics was approved to begin clinical trials of a coronavirus vaccine. 108 volunteers reportedly signed up for the first stage of trials of different dosages in Wuhan and will be monitored closely over the coming months. The development of a vaccine has come in collaboration with the Chinese military and been given the green light by Beijing, and it recently came under fire after this photo of Dr. Chen Wei, researcher and doctoral supervisor at the Academy of Military Sciences, circulated on social media, claiming that China was the first to begin vaccination trials. It was later proven to be a false claim. As the world continues to suffer from this pandemic and as nations across the globe race to find a vaccine, there are fears that widespread access to an effective cure could be stemmed by countries looking to prioritize their own citizens. It's happened before, when an Australian company was among the first to develop a vaccine to swine flu, but was required to meet local demands before fulfilling export orders. Historically, the US and Europe have led the fight against outbreaks and epidemics. But as they are now struggling to consolidate a response to the coronavirus pandemic, the Chinese government and entrepreneurs such as Jack Ma are leading the way by pledging medical personnel, diagnostic tests, and medical supplies to countries across Asia, Africa, South America, and Eastern Europe. Their efforts have been seen as a push to establish themselves as global leaders in dealing with crises and potentially showcase the superiority of their system and ability to impose measures to curb viral spread. But as the world struggles to cope with a pandemic that claims more lives every day, can we hope to see a joint global effort towards finding a cure for all?